The old way many MSPs are packaging their services right now that needs to change. Um, one, and Will said he sees this a lot, the, the service package is only labor. So we're going to do whatever maintenance. There's an RMM and an AV tool, and that's it. And it, everything else is either an upcharge, so you're nickel and diming the client all the time, or you're including it and not making money. Or I guess I could even say, um, a kind of tie into that, you know, you, you're not offering advanced cyber compliance, cyber protections or compliance, and a growing number of businesses need this. And you're, it's going to get to a point where you're going to have to offer it just to be competitive. It's maybe not that way today, but we are rapidly moving in that direction. Um, so yeah, if Robin, Robin, yeah. the biggest thing, they're going to definitely get left behind if all you're doing is your labor, RMM and antivirus. Uh, right. We all we all talk about, you know, antivirus and firewalls or the days of those just having those are over. Um, you've got to start offering a cyber stack as well as compliance uh, in your packages or you're definitely mm -hmm. going to get left behind. Yeah. And you know, I'll give you a little quick story on that. David Javahari, who is our current spokesperson, our reigning spokesperson, um, you know, he he said, you know, he just closed a really big deal. And he said the reason he closed it is. He, he's like, I think you do the same well. You have your basic managed services and then there's a security, cybersecurity package on top of that. So they're two separate agreements. You do that, don't you, Will? I think that's how we, you- No, we've actually combined ours together. Okay. They're, they're, yeah, they're different ways of doing it, but yes. Okay, uh, so one, it's one of the ways, right? Here's yeah. your basic, and, and there are, it's not that there's no security in there. It's just, here's our managed services and here's our advanced cyber protections. And so David was talking to this, prospect and um, said to the prospect, um, the guy was kind of saying, oh, about the price. He was kind of giving a little pushback on the price. And uh, David said to him, "You, it's optional for you to buy the managed services, but not security. So if you want to do business with me, the minimum, you have to buy security. I won't even do, I, in other words, he would not sell a managed services unless that security was in there. And that's actually what won him the deal because the guy realized that they were taking security serious. And so, you know, again, I know you guys are dealing with and have dealt with a lot of pushback on price, on people not wanting to spend the money. And that still is going to be like a majority. But if you really want to get to those higher end smart business owners who actually understand the value of having this, their risk, because it's a risk to a business mitigated. Um, if you're not selling that, you're going to miss the best clients because they're the ones who want it and will pay for it. And if you're not positioned to sell it, you're going to lose those opportunities. You're going to be stuck with the bottom 80% that all shop on price.